Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. So I think spring has finally decided to show up again. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful weather out today. But we've got chicks coming this afternoon. I'm super excited. We've got 80 chicks that are gonna be showing up here on the homestead. We're gonna keep 50 of them and then uh, 30 of them are going to some friends of ours. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be brooding all 80 of them for the next couple of weeks until they get all feathered out. Uh, so we gotta prepare a place for them. Earlier today, I went down to the local hardware store and picked up a couple pieces of OSB plywood that we're gonna make this one big brooding box out of. And I just want it to be something simple that I can uh, put up and break down and store away pretty easily uh, when we don't need it. So I figured a uh, couple pieces of plywood, will make a giant eight by eight box that we can just slide together. I'll kind of show you what my thoughts are uh, making this happen. So the first thing that I want to do is just cut all the plywood down the middle long ways so that we have four two foot by eight foot sections and that will be the walls of the brooding box and so it'll just be a giant eight foot by eight foot box. That wasn't so difficult at all, was it? Now I want all of the factory edges to be down. So that means two of these need to be flipped over so that they'll go together and then we can just cut them all at the same time. I think that's the best plan. All right, so the thought process here is I'm gonna take about two inches from the end, I'm gonna drill a hole just past the halfway mark on these boards and just drill all the way through them. And then with the circular saw, I'll cut a groove that's the same width as the plywood. And that way you'll have two uh, pieces with the straight or the factory edge on the bottom, two pieces with the uh, factory edge uh, <laughs> on the top, but then once we turn it all around, it should all slide together, kind of like, psh, this should work. It, I think. Don't use an impact driver to drill holes. Daisy, get out the way. Come on, get off there. Silly girl, come on, get down. Good girl. Go up 12 and a quarter, and then over three. All right, so we got our holes drilled. Now it's probably a good time to have a straight edge, but I don't have one readily available. And this is all kind of rustic. So we'll get a rough estimate. We got two and three quarters to about two and five eighths. What I'll do, is I'll just take my pencil, mark my finger right where it's supposed to be and then just pull it down. Straight, just like that. And we'll check it at the bottom. Of it raced our, our line a bit. Get it. Alrighty. Got most of it 
I'll have to get that last one with maybe a jigsaw or something like that. Or flip it over. might be a little tight. That's okay. We'll see how it works. All right. That was easy. Now let's see if we can make heads or tails of all this. Uh, this is the cut edge. This is the factory edge. So this one is gonna set on the ground. And then we've got the slots going towards the top. Then we'll take the other piece, we'll slide it in right over top of it, and that should hold this piece up while we work on the other end. So, stay there. This guy. We'll come right over here, like so. Try to navigate the mess of the mini barn. We've got so many different projects going on at the same time. I hadn't been able to get in here at all. Voila. Could have been a little bit tighter, but it works. Come on. Try not to break it. There we go. Slide in just like that. Oh yeah, I forgot we had to cut those off. I should probably do that. Completely forgot about that little lip that didn't actually get cut off. So, uh, Let's cut that out and then we can fit it together. Well, there's not gonna be a ton of extra room in here, but we should have plenty of room for a lot of baby chicks. I've got some pine shavings I'll put down. I was thinking I might put a tarp down underneath this just to make sure that it doesn't seep into the concrete and cause things to get all smelly and yucky. Probably could have been easier to do before we put all the uh, the panels down. All right, friends. Well, there we have a nice little area for the baby chicks to all grow up. Last year when we raised our brooders, it cost us around $18 a chick when it was all said and done. Um, the feed that we were getting was way more expensive than it needed to be. So hopefully we'll get this year's down. My cost estimate is around 12. But thank you guys for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing and see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. Like baby chicks and big chicks and puppy dogs and tractoring things and chainsaws.
Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. This chicken is like I'm king of the water.